Glad Midsummer, everyone. Uh, I've made a video now to try and explain Sweden's Midsummer traditions, so join me. Colorful shirts are the order of the day for men on Midsummer, and wreaths made of freshly picked flowers in the hair of young ladies and the women here. Swedish tradition dictates that you celebrate Midsummer in the country, or landet as they call it here in Sweden. And this year we were invited to our lovely friends Caroline and Pez country house. Swedes absolutely love to eat outside and on midsummer this is a huge tradition so the tables are set outside. Traditional Swedish food are boiled potatoes, shatbula which are meatballs, uh, sausages, seal, which is pickled herring, and my friend Pear there, Autumn, and uh, everybody takes part in making the food. Lots and lots of absolutely delicious cheese, uh, seal over there in the corner, and uh, yeah, it's just a wonderful, wonderful tradition. And now it's time to eat. Usually open the meal with a toast and song. This is one of my favorite traditions here on Midsummer. Midsummer here really is the tradition of celebrating rebirth and spring into summer. And the desserts here, uh, which are always traditionally fruit-based, are amazing. So after the meal, uh, you can generally dance around a maypole in your backyard or garden, or you can go down to the local park and dance with everybody to traditional Swedish midsummer songs. By far the most traditional Swedish midsummer song is Smågrudna. Uh, you sing about little frogs, which you become as you dance around the maypole. Barbecuing here is absolutely huge in Sweden, and my friend Pe is the grill master generally on Midsummer. And saft is a huge summer drink here, which is made of berries into a syrup, and then you add water. Absolutely delicious. And no traditional dinner here is complete without sauce for the meat. Midsummer really is a celebration of family and friends. And I absolutely love it. Glad Midsummer, everyone. <laughs>